Hey guys, young Kobe Bucky here, and this is going to be the top 5 best builds to use with the Urban MDR. So for this top 5, 5 is going to be the worst, then 1 is going to be the best. And at the end, I'm going to give my opinion on how good the Urban MDR is, and if it's worth using. So for number 5 we have Sentry, and Sentry gives you marks that increase your damage every time you hit a headshot up to 3 marks. I think it's up to 15% more damage for 30 seconds, and of course it gives you more headshot damage. Now this build is at number 5 because it doesn't really help with um, the third talent on the Urban MDR which is of course distracted, but overall if you have pretty good aim, which it's very hard to aim with the Urban MDR. You should do pretty well. It was either this or Banshee, so I went with this because you want to go for headshots with this gun, because if you just shoot body shots, you're not going to kill anybody. What the fuck was that? Was that a nade? And for the number four spot, we have Tactician. I put Tactician at number four and not higher because it's really the seeker mines that do most of the damage. The Urban MDR is just there for the support. You aren't doing that much damage with it, and the only reason you would use it is for the distracted talent. You can run either shotgun or an M4 with it, but you know. If you want to get the most out of your MDR, then you'd use it with this, because it can proc the status effect for you. Next up we have Predator's Mark. You can run those with the secondary of Pecan, Shotgun, SNG, it doesn't matter. And oh yeah, all these builds I tried to make as close as possible, so they'd be pretty equal in comparing. Supply drops have expired. And also you want to put the bleed of course, and you want to use Secret Mines for extra bleed to get more status effect. So this really could be number two, but the reason it isn't number two is because Number two has more at damage output of and you guys are gonna hate what number two is. And it doesn't have the status effect like this does, where you can see shoot with the pecan, then drop the seeker mines, get the bleed, proc the distracted. Ooh. Number two on this top five list is everybody's favorite build. The infamous Alpha Bridge. I'm using it with the FAMAS like everyone else should to get the most out of your Urban MDR. Of course, those are my talents. Use the Relentless and Savage. You know, the basic stuff. 
And the only reason this isn't number one is because you aren't getting anything out of distracted when you use this build unless you like use seekers or throw fire bombs, but yeah, it's gonna stay at number two unless, you know, by chain you use a fire turret with her or something. And for the number one spot, we have Firecrest. Of course, this is going to be number one. Maximizes your distracted talent, and you get to be able to support your team with the fire turret. It's constant status effect, so you're constantly doing damage, plus the damage you're already doing with the MDR and the distracted talent. It works very well, as you're going to see in the next clip. Take on, what, three guys, and ended up killing only one, but still, it was pretty good. This is clearly the number one build to use with the MDR. No questions asked, nothing gets more status effect like this, nothing slows them down so you can actually hit them with the crappy accuracy of the MDR. And you see it just melt people with it. And that is the top five best builds to use with the MDR. And it's a pretty bad gun overall, but used with, you know, top three builds, it's very, very good. I enjoy it so much with Firecrest. If you guys did enjoy this video, leave a like, and if you're new, subscribe, and hope you guys don't end up in situations like this.